hello. Um, this is one of the first steps that it takes to create the colony on on Mars um, in humankind. So to get to this first step, what you need to do is that you need to have a decent amount of research, be in the sort of contemporary area era, um, and then get to this rocket science here. And then you can build the space station. Um, so this is pretty straightforward. And then you go to one of your cities that has a decent amount of production, right? So sort of 7,000 is, is pretty good. Um, and then you just need to find somewhere where it has plenty of space around it and not much else is built. So you just put it down um, and then next turn, oh, overproducing, whatever. Um, we will finish that and then we have this space station unlocked. Right, and then the next step here that we'll see is that we need to do this lunar ladder, but for that we need aluminium, right? So um, to get aluminium, you have to first um, go to the technology screen and unlock it like we just did in this aluminium smelter. Um, and what we can then do is that I know that I have it somewhere. I know I have aluminium somewhere. Okay, in this city I have aluminium, right? So I just take an aluminium mine, plonk it down on that. Uh, this city is doing all sorts of stuff. Um, so I'll buy that out. Um, now I have access to one aluminium. Then I go back to my main city. This is gonna take two turns. This is why you need to have really good um, production as well as um, science to be able to do this victory condition. Then I just need to find another place um, where I can do it. I'm going to try to keep these close to each other. Um, but yeah, once we finish this, I'll come back to um, this recording. So um, be back shortly. Okay, um, we just finished building um, this lunar ladder. And now we've unlocked the Mars colony. Now the prop, I can't build this right now because I need three, um, three oil, which I don't have. I need two um, aluminium, which I don't have. And I need one uranium, which I don't have. Um, so I need one more aluminium and I need to get access to this uranium. Now, the way to do that, so we have a city cooking over here. So here we go. So this is giving us a one um, oil and this is going to, and uranium, uh, and this is going to give us another oil and uranium. So we are going to get this city pretty soon. Then I need to find another aluminium somewhere. Um, hopefully one within my borders. Um, otherwise I might have to go expand somewhere um, there's an aluminium up here and it's claimed so the um, this is the other way that you can get it but they need to have improved it first um, which is the problem in this particular case okay there's another one right here, but they haven't improved that. Um, so these guys, we can take a look. No. So anyway, um, this is how you figure it. That this is how you have to figure it out, right? Like I need, I'm gonna be fine on the oil, the uh, um, uranium, but I'm not. I need to find somewhere where I have more aluminium. So once I have that available i'll come back to this video so on. okay we are back so we managed to capture this aluminium down here so this um worked out um we had a backup plan up here which is also almost working out and we have this oil attached now and this oil so that gives me all the things that i need to go to my capital and do this mass colony and I'll put it like right on top of this 
Then we'll go to some of our other high production cities and we'll also work on that. So hopefully in the end it, um, let's see, can we do it in one turn? Oh, so close, so close. Okay, we're building it everywhere. It's gonna be two turns, so. I have some sure, whatever. Can get out of here. Uh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Um, sure. Um, we are making way too much science. <laughs> I'll show how to put together this these kind of cities as well. Um, don't worry about that. So then it's one more turn, and then I think I win. Let's see, I've never gotten this far before, but I want to see, all right, continuous track. Let's see. Okay. Completed interplanetary expedition. A phenomenal achievement of civilization-wide ingenuity. Perspiration, collaboration, bureaucracy. Doesn't seem a bad stuff. A tanker's worth of coffee. <laughs> okay, cool. Complete interplanetary expedition. Population. Okay. Let this moment be the line in the sand from where a reckoning will be made. Triggers the end of the game at the end of next turn. Okay, the red planet nine. <laughs> There's a cat. Nine short months after left Earth forever, space where from your great empire have completed a staggering journey across the cold, dark reaches of space to arrive on Mars. The team with high, high spirits, the first phase of the establishment of a permanent colony on the planet proceeds well, and the opportunities for discovery and enrichment are near endless. With your empire bestriding two worlds now, you dominate is near irrefutable. Your dominance is nearly irrefutable. The only question is, do you wish to let history judge your reign now, or do you wish to play with your rivals for... <laughs> play with your rivals more. Okay, I'm going to pick end. Okay, end of your journey. This is your last turn. The space race is won. You remembered as David, mythical ruler of Swedes. Great. The access? Computing. Well, there's something to be said for unswerving... End game. First among equals. Peerless among peers. Without inflating your ego too much, it must be said that you have claimed the mythic place in the tumultuous history of, of humankind. A great part of your legacy is the remarkable equilibrium with which you created it. You will be remembered for balance. Very cool. You also gained fame from the construction of a wonder. A hey, wonder. <laughs> Congratulations on the success of your ambition. Try like ten. And I must mention the surprising lack of pollution on the planet you leave to your children. Difficult, yeah. but possible. And I must note the role of faith in your success. Yeah, to lead a religion on mention. in an increasingly secular world is no mean feat. And with all these, there is your role as a diplomat. Few can boast of an alliance. We tip the scales on that one and by playing peaceful mode, so. Congratulations. <laughs> Under your guidance, the thrilling tale of humankind has been rewritten in your own words. There may be future adventures and deeds, and even grander scope for this grand story. Regardless, you have left a great mark and answered the question. How far will you push humankind? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Two thousand nine hundred. Early modern. They they didn't even get into the industrial. Okay. This just replays our faith and st stuff. So let's skip that. And then we can look at a little bit of stats. So I pulled away very hard with fame. Um, I never got that much food, sort of around zero, but there was like some huge spikes. I think I got robbed on Machu Picchu, it should have been a much better story. 
<laughs> um, yeah. I'll show you how to do this. Um, money. I never really did that much with money. I didn't even build any market quarters. I don't think you need it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, science. <laughs> I'll show you how to do this as well. Absolutely ridiculous. Influence. I don't know how this happened. It just sort of did. No idea. Stability. So in the end, the common quarters just got us to the top, but the way that we were constructing, and they were struggling a lot with stability. Um, I didn't do that well on population. I don't think you need population in this game very much. Dominant religion. Um, research. <laughs> Cool. Trade. I did a lot of trade. This is how you make money. Terrible military, because I was playing on peaceful mode. Not that many cities. You don't need that many cities. But yeah, okay, that's how you do the space race to sort of... Let's um, kind of review so to, or summarize. So to win the space race, what you need to do... Well, all you need to do is re research this space station, right? And then you need to build um, three upgrades for it. So you need to put this down, which requires oil. Then you need to build a moon ladder, which I believe requires oil and aluminium. I'll, all the details will be in the, the comment, uh, sorry, in the description, um, uh, which I'll put together. And then finally, you need three oil, one uranium and two aluminium to build the Bars colony. And then you just need to put them on the map somewhere, like we did over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Ah, uh, no, not that. Um, the Lunar Lander we put here, and then this is the Bars colony that we put right here. And then I think the original one we put underneath this one. So, yeah, and then you just need to finish the construction and then you win. You can pick between winning the game and keeping on playing, but we pick winning the game. So, yeah, um, for YouTube, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.